Hello everyone. So this video is actually inspired by a content creator who lives in the US. I think she's in California by the name of uh, Aquero. I hope I'm pronouncing her name uh, correctly. But anyways, this is her channel in case you are interested in uh, basically subscribing to her channel. She speaks about realistic things, things that normal human beings think about. And so she blew up because of this very reason. But this is besides the point. It is about the video that she made. I even told her that this video actually inspired me to create my own video similar to what she was talking about. So in case you guys who are new here have not seen a video that I posted about six or seven months ago where I was talking about how I was planning to be one of South Africa's 1% uh, wealthiest people. I wanted to be rich and I knew this from high school and I devised a business plan that I knew was going to get me to that 1% richest people in South Africa, possibly the world at large. So I already have that video is there if you're interested. I may leave a card right there for you to watch that video. Uh, it's a lesson that needs to be learned, especially by people who have ambitious plans, especially when you're coming off high school. But other than that, the question now is, I always get this uh, question. So where are you with your dream of becoming what? Of becoming that 1% richest people in South Africa or possibly the world? I will say since my business plan was stolen, I grieved over it and I knew that I needed to do the normal thing, which was to go to university, study something and go and uh, do the job that I went to university for, which actually I did. Um, I knew that that was actually the death of my dream. Uh, but did I ever stop thinking of becoming rich? Did I ever think? Uh, stop thinking that I am going to live this lavish lifestyle, life of luxury and uh, traveling the world, going to my favorite places in the world and things like that and living in a massive mansion, driving expensive German and Italian cars. Mm, yeah, well, it has died down. I must be honest with that one. As a matter of fact, sometimes I look at myself as a failed multimillionaire, possibly multi-billionaire. And I always think to myself, so since now you're no longer having that dream, what are your thoughts recently? Well, I'm on the fourth floor right now. So I would say the fact that I still don't have a million rand in my bank account, definitely I am a failed multimillionaire. And uh, I'm just living like a normal man that went to university working and is able to you know just live i may not be uh free from debts and things like that so that means it's not a comfortable life per se but what i want right now for myself is to have financial security financial freedom i want to be able to have money giving me or opening a door or something that I may want. Let's say maybe I want a trip to Ghana or a trip to Paris or a trip to Mozambique. I would not have to think about it, look into my account and checking if this trip will be possible. No, I want where when I want to take a trip, I actually take a trip without thinking twice about it. That is where I am right now. As older as I'm getting, I am realizing that um, yeah, that is the freedom that I want in my life. Do I want a mansion? Do I want to drive German and Italian cars? No. As a matter of fact, I don't even drive, even though I do have a driver's license. I realized as I was growing a little bit older that I'm not that fond of driving, even though I love to check out some cars, but me driving, it's just not my thing. It gives me anxiety and things like that. Also, I'm not a very flashy person. I'm not a person that goes to the scenes or scene in the scenes. I don't wear expensive clothes. The only thing that probably I would wear that is expensive on my body is shoes. Because for some reason, I love shoes. So if I walk into a shoe shop and I see a pair of shoes that I like and I see the price is a little bit hefty, trust and believe me, I will walk away with that pair of shoes irrespective of the price i will only regret it when i get back home like oh 
we just killed our budget for the next six months because of these shoes that's the only thing probably that i am ill-disciplined about other than that all i want right now is a peace of mind knowing that i'm debt free knowing that i have financial freedom i could do whatever i want i want to do uh the other thing as well that i've been wrestling with in my head is about investing in a home are homes this day an investment are they still the same way as they used to be where when you have a home of your own that you bought with your own money and uh and, and hoping for appreciation of that home so that it becomes a lifetime investment or generational wealth for your children and their children's children I don't know in the 21st century if this is anything to go by but at the same time renting can make you extremely poor as well so you are damned if you do you are damned if you don't but I still think that having your own home that you bought you your own money it's still pretty much the best investment that you can ever embark upon versus if you are renting however if you are going to buy a home in an expensive suburb of course you must also be able to pay the uh the levies and the rates and all of the stuff that comes with the home that you are going to buy in a specific suburb of course for me i still dream of living in a luxurious suburb someday i still do dream of uh, even though the house is not going to be massive and a mansion but for me, it's more about security, comfortability, as well as pride. You know, like self-pride. Just looking at my home and looking at all my hard work uh, and, and feel good about it. That is where I am at currently. And uh, the other thing that I was thinking about of whether I still want to be rich um i think the best wealthy okay i think that the richest person is a person that is happy a person that is content a person that is secure a person that does not worry about too many things uh a person that doesn't even necessarily think about taking international trips for whatever reason the craziest dream i ever had when i was growing up was or imagine me having a, an apartment in New York, a villa in Italy, and a mansion in South Africa. And I could wake up in South Africa and decide to go have breakfast in New York, lunch in Paris or in Italy, and then come uh, to Cape Town and then have dinner while watching the sunset. Crazy, right? Those are the things that used to run across my mind when I was growing up. So it also never used to help when I was a little bit younger watching shows like The Hill. Remember the hill? Those young, wealthy kids? Man, I, I used to think I was going to be one of those. But um, yeah, life happens, you know? <laughs> so it's good to dream. And they say it's healthy for a young man to dream. But, you know, reality is that sometimes you come across people that are going to be a stumbling block to that dream. I worked on it. I had a dream. I, I had a plan. And then I was thinking this plan was going to be funded by the government. It turns out the people that were working for the government stole it from me and ran with it. And now I am the one who's left in the cold and they are the ones who are living my life with my business plan. Yes, that business is still pretty much thriving. But anyways, like I said, I grieved it. I cried about it. Now I'm fine. It's been 24 years since that incident happened. Yeah, so if you were wondering, that's the update. I'm just a person now who's on the fourth floor and thinking, you know what? I'm just an ordinary person. Uh, the prospects of ever getting rich, I yeah, they are still there, pretty much still there. I'm a YouTuber. Anything can happen with my YouTube channel. I could wake up one morning and my youtube channel has blown up and uh, so much so that it creates me millions of dollars and yeah i find myself not maybe part of the one percent wealthiest people in south africa but at least 0 0.001 percent of the richest youtubers i don't know we'll see how it all goes um i'm pretty much determined to have financial freedom that is my biggest dream right now and my 
And my definition of financial freedom is not necessarily having millions of rands or dollars in my account. It's just to be content, be able to do what I want at any time I want, purchase whatever I want at any time that I want, whether that is millions of dollars that I'm going to have in my account or millions of rands that I'm going to have in my account. We'll see how life carries me with my second half of my life. We'll see how all that goes. But other than that, I feel like if you are dreaming of becoming a wealthy person, do not give up on that dream. Dream all the way. But you've got to put contingency plans to get there. It doesn't happen at a drop of a hat. And certainly it does not happen overnight. You have to put in hard work. You have to make sure that uh, all your ducks are in the row. And then make sure that you surround yourself with people that are going to make sure that this dream also come to fruition. And also be humble. Make sure that you always appreciate those around you that are helping you to get to your dream. Um, that way, I believe you will enjoy your journey towards becoming a rich person. Well, this is something that I try to do myself on a daily basis. Just be humble. Be grateful. And also have it at the back of my head that the possibility of having my dream coming true or revived for that matter. Because I feel like I've kind of like forgotten about it. So maybe it's time I kind of like revived it, but on a realistic uh, point of view, rather than when I was a younger person and, you know, um, just dreaming away and thinking all of these are going to be possibilities. It's still possible. I know that. I, I know that very much. Like I said, being a YouTuber and I've seen YouTubers that, uh, you know, started off with zero dollars. Today, they have millions of dollars in the uh, bank accounts. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I know this video is a little bit all over the place. I'm trying to uh, have a chain of thought about this feeling I've been having for a long time. But I've been afraid to talk about it because I don't want to be looked at as a failure. Uh, but at the same time, it's the truth. I did fail to become a multimillionaire. That's the, just the truth. But am I optimistic that things may change? Yeah, definitely I am optimistic. Who knows? We'll see. For me, having good health, being content, and also working hard, that to me does feel some kind of richness in my life and also seeing my family happy and uh, doing their thing also gives me the joy and the happiness that i feel in my heart i would love to one day you know to also give them the peace of mind financially give them financial freedom from my own financial freedom and uh i guess that's when i think i would say i am happy yeah, I think that's when I would say I'm happy. That's just the honest truth about this feeling that I thought, hey, uh, since Aquero spoke about her side, let me take inspiration from her and speak about my side of uh, how I feel about my dream of becoming rich, if it's still so. Well, now you know. It has reduced. It's become realistic. And... Uh, but optimistic at the same time that things may change. Who knows? You know, can never predict life. Other than that, guys, I am still recovering from flu. And uh, my voice, as you can hear, it's a little bit groggy. So let me go to bed. It is now 1.22 a.m. as I'm filming this video. I was just done filming another video. So I happened to come across Aquero's video. And I got inspired and now here I am just sharing my own story about my lack of richness. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.